Hey guys, how's it going? I um, have actually been super busy doing the, um, working on actually my, my Elder King Reign story event. I do this thing where like, the, for, I, for, for the people of the future, where I feel like at some point, you know, if, they're, if they pick up FFBE like later than us, and they're super sad, like that they missed out on a Souls event. This was the first one that I've done this for Souls event, and they want to they want to see his story, and they want to see more about uh, Heliarch. Well, you know, I I just went together and like I just went ahead and like pieced together that story event, and then like chomped super loudly and grossly uh, during it. But I thought like, well, they could just put it on mute. But anyhow, the point is. Those people of the future might want to see those story events. So that's what I've been working on is uh, Alder King Rain's story event, which um, obviously was heavily influenced by the movie Aladdin. Um, just saying. Um, anyway, I uh, was doing that when my voice was hoarse. Now my voice is not so hoarse. And there's something I want to do, and that is <laughs> go in to Narshi Exploration with hard mode with these two guys. Well, okay, well, now this is super anticlimactic because we have to read all this like fine print. Complete the quest. Use three or more limit bursts. Deal fire damage. And defeat uh, Valagramondo with magic. All right. Uh, anyway, the point being, ah, uh, get out of here. Stop it. You're ruining my moment. Uh, this is who I'm taking. Because, hey, it was just the two of them when they went through Narshi Caves. I know. You get me started on Final Fantasy VI. Everybody who knows me knows not to get me started on Final Fantasy VI, but you guys don't know this. And it's happy hour, so come on, friends. Let's do a deep dive into Final Fantasy VI uh, canon experience extravaganza or whatever. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how these guys do. All right, so see how it looks? See how it looks like, uh, like that weird... Uh, maze where you know you're fighting Kefka and like setting up your your moogles to get in the way of any of those battles. Well, that was kind of easy. This is getting too easy. I don't know. I don't feel like this was even a challenge. I thought that this would would be a challenge, but the enemy is like gonna be right up here. All right, so we need to use. Three limit bursts. Maybe this isn't a challenge at all. I don't know. Who am I fooling, right? I spent the first half of this talking about how I'm doing some bizarro um, film series for for the future. It's not a film series. It's about the story events. But yeah, I'm doing it for future generations. And I'll probably be dead when they comment on my, on my video, but... Um, if I'm not, then then I'll read what they have to say, and I'll be excited to see like what kind of you know strange things are happening in the future, or in that time, and then I can re rethink to like when, like before I made these videos, like what our life was like. Oh, Magna Rotor, dude, this is sweet. He was the guy you wanted to get. If I remember correctly. I don't remember why. Maybe you steal something from him? Because that's Locke's special ability is stealing. So maybe there's something good to steal from that Magna Rotor. Also, I was looking at um, the artwork because a lot of you clued me in as to why Tara's hair is not green. It's blonde. And um, I was like, oh, what was it about the Magna Rotor? Now I'm, now I'm, was it because like you wanted to get that Magna Rotor in your bestiary? There was something strange about that Magna Rotor. It's chipping at my brain right now. And my brain's on happy hours, so it's, it's not connecting. But, um, oh, there was something about the Magna Rotor. Hmm. All right. Well, in the meantime... We'll, we'll continue this, but um, anyway, I was looking at the artwork, and actually, this CG animation is really spot on. 
Um, maybe I'll even include a couple pictures because I was looking at my I have a Final Fantasy Ultimania archive that I actually saw at Target and I picked up volume one and two. Um, but it was pretty cool looking at that artwork of Terra after I had already pulled Matchstick Terra and like comparing that to her CG animation. It was like just looking at the pictures, I was like, whoa, this is absolutely spot on. So I think we've I think we've done her limit burst three times. I think. Deal fire damage three times or more and defeat uh put him with magic. Okay. Oh, get out of here. Alright, get out. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do one more and then Ice Dragon. Ice Dragon. Do one, like, just for the limit burst, and then we'll do a couple fire damage, and then we'll go out and we'll go after uh, Valgamanda. Um, I just love that it's just the two of them. That's the way it should be. I mean, don't get me wrong. He and Celeste, that's like, that's, that's where he belongs. But, um, I think with me, with FFBE, it's really important to pull for the characters that I really like. And there's, oops, what did I just do? There's so many people to choose from all the time. And, and that's what's kind of cool. It's like, you don't have to, you know, you, you have people to choose from. And so choose the ones that you like. So when I finally am able to c c construct these parties that, you know, Per perfectly situated or perfectly suited for these situations um it just is it just tickles my fancy i'm sorry it just makes me i just love it i think it's pretty cool it i just like seeing the people that should be there in fact if if i could swap out last well's face right there for um la Cortera, it would make it even better because like watching them go through through this um would just make me smile it, well, I mean, is it a hostile presence? I don't think Valgamanda really is. But, oh, wow. Look at it, too. All right. So we've got to do this with magic, it said. Yes, magic. All right, and I've done fire damage twice. I think I'm good on, on Lemon Burst. But let's see. Um, We can do dual cast. And I guess we have to do Faracha. Will that do it? Yeah, I think so. Let's see how this goes. Raja. And then Adventure Lock, just to... Just because, you know, we, we can't possibly let our guard down. We're going to reduce his attack, and we're going to reduce his magic, just in case he totally tries to obliterate us. Can't have that. Alright, and you do your thing, my girl. All right, see, he's still alive. Now we've got to survive. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wow. Hmm. <sighs> this is just going to break him, isn't it? Maybe we do... Maybe we do Flames of Rebirth and get Terra back? Or I don't know. This might be... A terrible idea. Absolute zero. Oof, oof, oof. All right, see, not as easy it looks, but I am determined. We're gonna do this. I've got this, guys, I've got this. I know what to do next. All right, so what I did this time is that I, I got my limit burst off and then um, I made sure that I got all the fire damage done. So we're not looked into doing fire magic damage in this battle. So Adventure Luck has his limit burst with his split mirage, and that's going to do water resistance. But let me look and see if she has... Oh, she doesn't have any water damage. So um, I think we'll just dual cast um, probably just Ultima and see how this goes. But we'll use his limit burst and, and, and really see from here. Alright, that was better than last time. We just have to survive. Oh, Serenity Air is freezing. Alright, not bad. I think 
we can then we just do like one hydrolysis dagger or is that gonna totally kill this guy I don't know let's hope not right go Go, 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 Ultima funds, go, yay! I think that was Ultima. Let's hope we got everything. Everything, everything, because it'll make me so happy. These two should have traveled just together. As much as I love my Final Fantasy VI party, they just don't belong here in this moment. This was just the two of them. Yay, the battle is won. We did it, guys. Yay. Oh man, it makes my Final Fantasy VI heart so happy. Sorry, don't. Don't ask me any questions about Final Fantasy VI. I got, I got, I got to reel it in right now. All right, we got that trust Moogle, all that stuff. Let's see. Yes, we did it. We did it. So that was fun. That was fun. I'm, I'm happy for that. That was a good. That was um. It turned out well. I was a little nervous uh, the first time around, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, it's fun, you know, like to pull for the units that you like, to use them in ways that like make you happy, whatever that might be. So that's what we just did right now. And um, I just have this stupid, stupid, giddy look on my face about, you know, being all totally entrenched in like uh, the Final Fantasy VI canon. So. All right, um, I'm gonna go geek out about myself right now, um, but hopefully, hopefully you all are are able to do something fun uh, the way that you want to do it, um, or you got these things, or you do you know, or this. I don't know. I'm mumbling on. Obviously, you know, I'm just. It's like when you know when your voice is getting hoarse and you just like to listen to yourself talk. I think that's what's going on right now. So, I'll probably cut that out because, you know, nothing good can come from that. Uh, and and happier you know I need a refill so I'm gonna go take care of that business hopefully you're taking care of your business and um, whatever that entails and and with we'll, yeah we'll keep on keep on looking forward to some to some fun moments in FFBE because uh, this was one that I will remember for a while all right uh, take care and cheers <laughs>